TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. In a previous tutorial, I had discussed the idea of auto text within Microsoft Word. And in this tutorial, I want to talk about something called autocorrect. The two of them, if you know how they work, can be used quite effectively to simplify some of the things you type into Microsoft Word. And there are some distinctions between the two. If you haven't watched the auto text tip, I do recommend you go back and watch that before you watch this one. But having stated that, let me move on. What autocorrect is in Microsoft Word is a lot of different things. For example, to illustrate what it is, I'm going to go up and click on Insert. I'm going to go down to Auto Text. I'm going to go back to Auto Text again. And when I come up here, I want you to notice we have some tabs here. And one of those tabs is Autocorrect. I'm going to click on that. Autocorrect does a number of things. First, it is most commonly used for misspelling. So in other words, if you misspell a word, and I'm going to illustrate that in just a second, it will automatically fix it. So as we scroll down through this list a little bit, you're going to see there's a lot of words in here that either are misspelled or mistyped. These are things that they've already anticipated you're going to make a mistake with, and they've put it in the autocorrect feature. And again, in a couple seconds, you'll see how that works. But I just want you to know, if you think you're the world's greatest speller, well, you might not be. What's really happening is if you're misspelling or even just mistyping things, Microsoft Word can automatically be correcting things behind the scenes without you even realizing it. So that's the primary reason to use autocorrect. It's sort of automatic. It happens without you even recognizing it. So I'm going to click cancel to get out of here because I want to illustrate that. So again, the first and primary reason is the common misspellings. What I'm going to do here is you'll notice I've started typing the word receive, R-E-C, and you know the common misspelling or the common rule is I before E except after C. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to misspell this. So I'm going to type in R I R-E-C-I-E-V-E. -E. This is the wrong way to spell this word. So what I'm going to ask you to observe is let's pretend for a moment that I'm actually typing this word in a sentence. I've typed it. I'm about to go on to my next word. And to do that, I'm going to hit the space bar. But watch what happens when I hit the space bar. It's going to change the misspelling. It's going to change the IE. So here I go. I'm going to hit the space bar right now. And see, it changed the spelling. It changed it from IE to EI. So it corrected the spelling. So that's one very common way that autocorrect works without you really recognizing it. If you had mistyped that or even misspelled it, it would have corrected it for you. There are a lot of words in there like that. Now, the next thing that I like about this is, have you ever had one of those words you always misspell? I mean, you might misspell it or you mistype it all the time. Well, I always had one of those words when I was a kid that I misspelled. It was the word Wednesday, the day of the week. Now, the way it's spelled and the way it sounds are really two different things. So this is the way I would have spelled it, Wednesday, W-E-N-S-D-A-Y. But what I'm going to do is obviously that's a misspelling. i got a red squiggly line under it. I'm going to right click on this and what it shows me is the proper spelling, Wednesday, Wednesday. I, I still don't understand that. But anyway, Wednesday is the proper spelling. But let's say, just for example, Whenever I type Wednesday, I always do it wrong. I always do it the way you see on the screen. Well, what I can do is I can say, instead of just correcting it every time myself, I can go in and I can add that misspelling or the mistyping, whatever you want to call it, to autocorrect. So in the future, if I type in Wednesday, W-E-N-S-D-A-Y, and then go on to the next word, it's automatically going to correct it for me. That's autocorrect. So if I want to autocorrect it, I could click on this, and then going forward, if I mistyped it exactly the way I've mistyped it there, it would correct it for me automatically. So that can be a good thing. I'm not going to do that because I use this as an example all the time.
So I'm going to ignore that. Let's take it a step further. Let's say there's a word such or a name or something that you type all the time, such as my proper name, Anthony John Hollowitz. Well, that's a lot of typing. So let me show you a little shortcut feature of AutoCorrect. I highlighted my name. I'm going to go up. I'm going to click on Insert. I'm going to go down to Auto Text. I'm going to go over to Auto Text again and click on it. And then I'm going to click on the AutoCorrect tab. And when I do that, you'll see it has taken my name and put it right here. Now, what I can do at this point is I can come up with an abbreviation for my name. That abbreviation that I'm going to use is AJH for Anthony John Hollowitz. I'm going to click on Add, and it's added it, and I'm going to click OK. So now let's take a look at what happens if I decide I want to type my name. Well, going forward, all I have to do is type in AJH and hit the space bar, and it automatically puts in my name. So that's all I have to do with that. Now let me talk about the Gettysburg Address. The Gettysburg Address is a famous speech by Abraham Lincoln. And let's say we want to take something that's a little more lengthy, such as the Gettysburg Address. Well, I happen to have a copy of it right over here, and there's a couple things I want you to notice. One, this text is bold, and you'll see it's bold up here. So in other words, it's got some formatting on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this text right here, I want you to observe that I've put in the letters GBA right here just to remind me that's what I want to put it in as. So again, I selected all that text. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click on Insert. I'm going to go down to Auto Text. I'm going to go over to Auto Text again. And again, I'm going to click, or click on the AutoCorrect tab. And when I do that, I've got to come up with an abbreviation. That abbreviation is going to be GBA. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to click on replace. Now I had put that in there previously but I'm just doing it again to illustrate it. I'm going to click OK. So now let's go to a brand new blank sheet of paper and let's say because I type the Gettysburg address all the time I want to put it in here. Well all I have to do is instead of typing it all out I do have to remember the abbreviation but if I type in GBA and hit the space bar it puts in the entire Gettysburg address. So autocorrect can be used to take a lot of information, create an easy and simple abbreviation, and use it to put in that information, such as the Gettysburg Address. Think of the implications of this if you use Microsoft Outlook, and you happen to use Microsoft Word within Microsoft Outlook, and that's an option. Well, think of all the ways you reply to emails. Well, if you put all those replies, like you might have reply 1, reply 2, reply 3, three different types of replies to customers, you know, most common replies, it makes it easier than typing it over and over again. So there's a lot of different ways you can use this. I want to illustrate the difference between auto text and autocorrect. Look at the auto text tutorial, look at the autocorrect tutorial again, and you'll see that these are great tools to use within Microsoft Word and can save you a lot of time. My name is Tony Hollowitz. I want to thank you for your time and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.